Welcome to this 2.5 inch SSD installation. So we have our Acer Aspire 5 slim laptop and we are going to install a 2.5 inch Lexar NS100 SSD. And you definitely want to grab the SSD caddy screws or SSD holder screws that came with your Acer laptop. I actually missed that in my unboxing so I'm glad I have it the box still. And you need a PH1 screwdriver or a screwdriver of a similar size should work. So now we got our laptop, let me flip it over. So we have about 10 screws total for my count. Three, three, four. So that's screw number one. Screw number two. Screw number three. So we got our screw number four. and f So that's five and six, actually. So screws five and six right here. And then we have screw seven. We got screw number eight. Screw number nine. And screw number 10. All right, so we put that on the side. Now it's the challenging part using the pr plastic prying tool to open up the laptop. I really like the color silver for uh, laptops, but um, the thing with silver is you can kind of see if there's like some leftover plastic or like, basically compared to black, uh, it's more visible when you have like plastic damage or something. So, I mean, for me, I, I, I'm trying to be careful. I just kind of just gradually opened it up all around, went around it a few times using the plastic prying tool. You know, I'm tr I try not to force it, so nothing broke. So everything went well. But I don't know if you guys can notice, but you know, there's a little bit of the plastic thingy. Um, t like, I don't know if it's plastic residue or whatever, but you can kind of notice it. Like, uh, you can tell that we opened up the laptop. So yeah, just keep in mind that uh, we pretty much avoided the warranty since we opened up the laptop, so just a heads up. So I gradually opened up the sides. I kind of just went around a few times and then just as it started to open up, I just kind of went back and forth. You know, I'm sure there are better techniques out there. No, but I'm trying to show everybody um, most of the uh, things that I did. So I just kind of repeated and then you can see it start to open up. But yeah, you can see the plastic a little bit, you know. So on the edges there, I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if it's called plastic residue or what, but yeah. So the vent part was also kind of tricky, but everything went well. That, that was the part I was most worried about because it's something I cannot repair. So the, the cover went off nicely. Now, we have our SSD slot right there. Or should I say space for the SSD? First thing we want to do is we want to disconnect the power. So I'm going to gradually disconnect it from left and right side of this here. You can use your hands too. Um, I just like using the plastic prying tool because it's easier for me. Oh yeah, shout out to the person in the comments uh, from another video of mine who uh, encourages using uh, safety practices. So I'm going to try to include it in, the, in uh, pretty much all videos, you know, disconnecting the battery and stuff like that and making sure I have the anti-static uh, wrist strap and everything. So for the caddy itself, there's four screws. So I removed the first screw and the, the connector is part of it. So we got screw number two right here for the caddy. So it's really great what Acer did. They even um, included the connector and the ribbon cable to upgrade or add an SSD. 
So it's like they wanted us to upgrade the um or they wanted us to add an SSD to this thing. You know, they included the screws for the caddy, they included the caddy and they included the uh the cable or uh, ribbon cable. So yeah, so now that the caddy is removed, we just have to peel off this cable right here. Yeah, I'm being very gentle because um it's really stuck in there. Really really glued on there good. So it's kind of pull back here there we go let me give you a close-up so it says on the uh, cable it is uh, MB on the right and HDD on the left so MB probably means motherboard or something and the HDD I'm assuming for the SSD or hard drive so I am just gonna lift this open voila now we want to put the MB side I'm gonna just gently push it in Excellent, and I'm gonna push this down Gently boom there we go Next we want to put our connector so we want to lift up This part here, so I'm just using a plastic prying tool, but I'm pretty sure you could use your fingers too if you wanted to it's just easier for me to use a prying tool I'm gonna connect it, push it in a little bit, and then I'm gonna slide the thing down, push it down, boom, secured. Nice, now we got our SSD caddy and the SSD itself. So I'm gonna, gonna connect it like this. And we have the four caddy screws that the, that Acer has provided so nicely. So yeah, props to Acer for that. Making it easy for this upgrade. So we got screw number one. Yeah, this is a pretty fun project. I like upgrading the uh, computers. I did order some RAM, so hopefully we're gonna get that soon and we can upgrade the RAM. And we are also gonna upgrade the M.2 SSD. So let me put the fourth screw in. Yeah, it's really cool. So I've never had a clear plastic caddy before so like on the bottom you can actually see the info of the SSD so that's pretty sweet now we just have to connect the SSD to the connector yeah it took me a while to figure it out because I wasn't sure if the connector was supposed to be screwed in or not but it doesn't look like you have to screw in the connector it looks like it's just going to be held in place by the SSD so it's got to hold it down a little bit and then I'm going to just Screw in the four screws of the SSD caddy a little bit. I won't tighten completely yet until I have all four screws in there. Excellent. Just got to tighten it up. So far, so good. All right, we are almost ready to go. Just making sure it's secure. There we go. So the next thing we wanna do, of course, is reconnect the battery. So I'm just gonna gently push it on the left and on the right again, just gradually Pushing it in using the plastic prying tool. Excellent. Making sure it's secure. Nice. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now we can put back the back cover. Did I say back cover? I meant bottom cover. Yeah, as you can see, there's like some plastic. Um, not my best work, I have to say. You can kind of see a little bit of the plastic thing on the uh, edges there. Yeah, not my best work. I did try to start opening up the laptop on the like the edge and on the side, but it looks like I might have. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can clean it up a little bit um, in the future. But uh, yeah, you can see a little bit of the plastic there in the bottom center. Um, so I did not do a very good job with the plastic prying tools. 
But eh, it's a good project. Can't win them all, right? <laughs> so yeah, it looks like you guys might have to definitely be careful with uh, when opening up the laptop because um, it's a silver laptop, so you can really see the edges there, and it's plastic, so you can easily you can kind of see the um, you can definitely see that I opened it up over there. I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna really like notice it, but you know, just letting you guys know. All right, so I cleaned it up a little bit with a microfiber cloth and a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and we are booting it up, and looks like the laptop is working, so, so far so good. I'm going into create and format hard disk partition. So if you have a brand new SSD, it's gonna ask you to format, a, format the SSD to either a GPT or an MBR. So for me, I already opened up this SSD before I did some benchmark tests on it, now I'm just formatting it into NTFS. So I'm going to go into Lexar. I'm just naming it Lexar as a volume label. I just went NTFS, nothing fancy. So now it recognizes the new SSD. So yeah, hope this video helps you out. I appreciate the comments. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.